today we'll be getting creative with the TK8 color grading tool. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. Today's episode is all about getting creative with the color grading tool found in the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. Now you know I really love the color grading tool, but I haven't really discussed really getting creative with it, and that's what I wanted to do in today's tutorial. I really enjoy color grading images, and if you watch a lot of movies, you know they're always color graded. So they take the normal colors and they enhance them a little bit. They alter them and give them a more artistic look. And that's what I wanted to look at today with the color grading tool. A lot of editors use the curves adjustment layer in Photoshop to do color grading, but the TKA plugin for Photoshop utilizes the curves adjustment layer, but it makes it really simple and easy to do color grading. And that's what I wanted to show you today. Just how easy it can be when you have the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. So let's get started. Now today I'll be working with four different images. This is not gonna be a long tutorial, at least I don't think so. I have this image, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so two black and whites, two color, and these are all stock images, by the way, and they're cool images, but what if we could take an image like this with just basic colors and just kind of tweak those colors a little bit and turn it into something a little more creative? Let's see what we can do. And as I said, a lot of color grading is done with the curves adjustment layer in Photoshop. So let's open up a curves adjustment layer just to show you what I mean. So let's grab a curves adjustment layer. Now we might get in here and see this drop down where it says RGB. You have red, green, and blue dealing with the three channels in Photoshop. So let's go to red first. Now we could go to red and we can pull up on red and add a little bit of red to the midtones of the image. Now the opposite of red would be cyan. So if we pull down, we can add cyan to the midtones. So we may say we want a little bit of red and we want a little bit of cyan in say like the shadow areas. And let's pull the highlights back to normal. Okay, so that's one thing we could do. Then we could come to green and say, well, what if we added a little bit of magenta to the shadow? So we could lock down the midtones here and put another point here and put a little bit of magenta in the shadows because the opposite of green would be magenta. So I could add some magenta to the shadows. And what if I wanted to add some yellow to the highlights? So then I could come to blue. And if you know the opposite of blue would be yellow. So if I lock down the midtones here and then pull up here in the highlight areas, or not up because that's going to add blue to the highlights. Let's pull down and see I can add a little bit of yellow to the highlights. Now let's go back up to the drop down menu and I'll go back to RGB. But look at all these curves in here, all these different colors here. Now that can be quite complicated and you have to remember all your, uh, you know, the opposite of red is cyan, the opposite of green is magenta, the opposite of blue is yellow, and you're working with shadows, midtones, and highlights. But let me show you how simple and easy and user friendly it is to use the color grading tool in the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. But before I do that, let's take a look at the before and after. Here's the before, you know, just a basic image with the natural colors, but now we've given it a more cinematic look. So that's kind of fun. But let me go ahead and delete this uh, layer for now because we don't really need it because I want to show you the color grading tool and the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. So if you have the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, come up to your color grading tool and you'll click right here. Hey, and by the way, if you don't have the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, I'll leave my link in the description below that'll take you right over to Tony Kuiper's website and you could purchase the TKA plugin for Photoshop along with training videos. And if you'll use my promo code DK15, you'll save 15% off of anything on that website, just so you know. So here's the color grading tool. And if you watch my TK Friday videos every Friday, you know that I'm constantly using this color grading tool. But I use it a lot of times for adjusting like shadows, midtones, and highlights. And I may do slight bits of color grading on there, but not a whole lot. Not more of this cinematic approach that I'm showing you today. So I'm quite excited about this tutorial. But right now we can see the color grading tool with this nice circle in here with all these different colors in here. Red, green, blue. We got yellows, pinks, and so on and so forth. They're all in here. Very simple. And I'll show you how easy this is to use. Now, right now, the color grading tool is not applied to my layers. I have to click this plus here. And now you see the color grading tool. 
But it's very simple. We have shadows represented by this black block, midtones represented by gray, and highlights represented by white. And this block represents shadows, midtones, and highlights, all three tones together. But let's work with the shadows first. I'm going to click on the shadows. You can work with the highlights first or the shadows or the midtones. It really doesn't matter. But I'm going to start with the shadows. Now watch how cool this is. Now I'm working with shadows. So if I take this block and I left click on it with my mouse and drag it, say, down into the blue color here, I'm adding blue to the shadows. You see that? Isn't that cool? And now if you'll look here, you see I have a slider here. And with it, I can adjust my highlights, midtones, and shadows on the RGB part of the curve. I can make my shadows darker by taking this slider and dragging it to the left. You see that, how I'm darkening up my shadows? Now there are some nice blue, dark shadows in the water there, okay? so But what if I wanted to make them more like magenta? So I could drag this over into magenta, and now I have like magentas. And again, I can darken this up if I want, but look how easy this is. It's very intuitive. But I kind of like the blue, so I'm going to drag it over into the blues, okay? Now, I could lift those shadows by taking the slider and dragging it to the right, and you see that? But I can get those faded looks. Now, let me show you here. Let me open up my properties panel so you can actually see. See that? You see what I'm doing with the blues? And uh, you see what I'm doing with the main RGB curve here? Now, if I click on just the blue, you can see what I'm doing with the blue. And these are very complex adjustments, but the panel is doing it for me. All I have to do is decide, do I want blue there? Do I want green? Do I want magentas? Whatever I want is what's going to be there. So that's really cool. But that's working with the blues and that's working with the shadows. Now, if that's too intense of a blue, I can pull back this way and lessen that up. But isn't that nice? But look how cool that is. Here's the before and here's the after. Now, I could be done right here. But what if I want to, say, warm up these highlights? So I could come to this highlight block now and drag this highlight up into the yellowish tones like this. And now you'll notice they're turning yellow, which is nice, and it's giving me a different feel. But what if I wanted to work in midtones? So let's go to midtones. And now what if I wanted to darken up my midtones? So I could come here and darken up my midtones a little bit. And what if I wanted to add a little bit of red Okay, so I can take the slider and drag this into the red. You see that? I can add a lot of red or just, just a little bit of red. And maybe I want to darken that up a little more. But look how I'm changing and altering the scene. Now, maybe that's too much red, so I can back this off a little bit, something like that. Now, I've come from here, and I've went to here. But look how quick and easy. And look at the complicated curves and things I have up here because of my adjustments. It's pretty cool. If I click right here where I have represented uh, all three tones, shadows, midtones, and highlights, you can see where they line up in the different colors. So that's color grading with the uh, color grading tool in the TKA plugin for Photoshop. Now let's go to another example. But before I do that, what if that was too strong of an effect? I could take this opacity and start to pull it back a little bit and just maybe add a little bit of that. You can fine tune your adjustments, but I went from here and went to here really fast, really simple, but color grading is a lot of fun. But let's go on to the next example. Now, the next example is this image right here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now, we can still see the color grading tool, but it is not applied to this image. You see no curves adjustment layer here or color grading layer. So what we need to do is click the plus, And when we do, you notice we have no adjustments on it. So we have our color grading tool, which is a curves adjustment layer, as you can see right here with no settings on it. Now, this image doesn't have much shadows, maybe right up in here. So I'm not going to worry with the shadows here. I'm just going to play with the midtones and maybe the highlights. So let's start out with the midtones. Let's click on the midtone block. What if I wanted to give a little bit of a uh, pink cast to the overall midtones. So I'm going to play with this midtones block and drag it into the pinks. Look at that right there. Now I could be done right there because that's beautiful. Here is the before and here's the after. Okay. And then I could even say, you know what? I want to lighten up those midtones a little bit so I can drag this slider. So not only do you have, you know, color grading, you can also adjust the actual luminosity values of those ranges of shadows, midtones, and highlights. So that's really nice. But what if I wanted to warm up my highlights? So let's come to my highlights and let's go ahead and just warm them up a tiny wee bit like that. So here is the before and here is the after, but just that simple. It's just that easy to do. So we've gone from this image and come here, a subtle color grading, but I think 
very effective. Now let's move on to the next image. My last two examples are black and white, but I'll tell you what, if you like to add split toning to your black and white images, you're going to love this color grading tool. So let me say I want to add some really nice split toning to this. So I'm going to start out with adding a new color grading tool because remember that's from the last image. So I'm going to click the plus and you can see there's my color grading tool. Here's my curves adjustment property panel opened up here. By the way, when you're using this color grading tool, normally the properties panel does not open up because when Tony made this panel, he wanted to keep it very simple and you're going to do all your adjustments here. Now, I highly recommend that after you make your adjustments with the color grading tool, do not alter them with the uh, curves adjustment. Do all your adjustments from within here because if you ever have to go back and make a readjustment, if you kind of make your adjustment inside of this uh, properties panel, it's going to throw off what you're going to be doing later on for making adjustments. So do all your adjustments from within the color grading tool itself. Now on to our black and white split toning. So I'm going to go into shadows first. I'm going to click on shadows and I'm going to give the shadows a little bit of a, a blue tint because you could give it that nice selenium look like right there, you know, like tint the shadows a little blue come to the highlights and maybe give those a little bit of blue in the highlights as well. And maybe even in the mid-tones for that nice selenium look. Okay, so that's pretty cool, right? So we've gone from here to here. Really subtle but beautiful. And if you want to reset these, you can um, right-click on this block right here and you'll notice these are all reset right now. Okay, so that resets them. But let's start out with the shadows again. I'm going to give the shadows a little bit of a blue tint, something like that. Okay, and now I'm going to come to the mid-tones, and I'm going to add a little bit of like a warmth, like a sepia, like that. Isn't that beautiful? And if I wanted to, I can even come up to the highlights and add a little bit of that sepia into the highlights. Not too much, but here is the before, and here's the after. A very subtle split toning, but really beautiful. And then if you ever want to alter things, all you have to do is come back. If you want to give it a little more blue in the shadows, come here, click, and then just pull this a little more into the blue range, like so, if you want. So it's really nice. And remember, you also have the slider here. If you want to make the shadows a little darker, just drag this to the left. If you want to make the midtones lighter or darker, drag it to the right to make the midtones lighter, to the left to make the midtones darker. And the same thing with the highlights. You can make the highlights lighter to the right or darker to the left. But look at all that range you have. And then if you look at your uh, properties panel for the curves, you can see the intricate adjustments you've made. So pretty cool. So now let's go on to our last image, which is this flower image. A black and white flower image. And let's give it a slight amount of split toning just to beautify it a little bit. And again, as you'll notice, I have the color grading tool here, but it's not applied. So I have to click the plus to apply it and it resets itself. Okay. So now let's work with the, I'm going to start with the midtones here. I'm going to work with the midtones and I'm thinking pink, come on, a little bit of pink in here. I think will look really pretty, a little bit of pink. And let me lighten up those midtones a little bit, just to add a little bit of, uh, I don't know, an artistic flair to them, you know, and I could stop right there and say, I am done. But let's go up into the highlights. And do I want to throw any pink in the highlights? You know, I could throw a little pink. What would a little bit of blue look like in the highlights? Now, nah, I don't think that would work. But you got to get creative. But look how easy it is to play around and get creative here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of pink into the highlights then maybe into the shadow areas let's add some blue just a slight a very slight amount of blue here okay and here is the before and here's the after and let me even lighten up those shadows a little bit let's uh just take the slider as i'm on the uh, shadow block and drag this to the right and you see how i can lighten that up and give it that faded look but you notice i'm pulling up on the on this side of the curve in the shadows giving it that faded look but isn't that cool so here is the before and here is the after so just like that and remember you always have the opacity slider you can drag this back a little bit 
if you've gone too far, but I actually like it. I think it is nice. Did you ever think that color grading could be that easy to do in Photoshop? Well, with the color grading tool found in the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, it is. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.